Hey, Lee Spangenberg with Secret Doorways here. Today I'm installing a single panel uh, recessed in-swing door. And uh, this particular door is uh, just a rough opening. So I'm going to go ahead and install the, the jam. I'm going to hold off on installing the uh, casings until I'm done. That way I can bring those jams in just to, to where I want them to be. It's kind of a luxury of doing a, uh, a door that's, that's unfinished, um, just, just a rough opening. So I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, jam first. All right, next thing I'm going to do is install this upper bracket. And the front edge, the leading edge of the bracket, this is going to be the back that's, that's into the closet. This front edge is going to be about even with my bookcase. My uh, door stop is going to be about an inch, uh, well, it is an inch wide, and I'm going to leave a half inch reveal. So I'm going to make a mark an inch and a half in. And that'll be the front edge of that. And then it's going to be out. I'm going to leave about three eighths of an inch between the edge, the inside edge of this bracket and the wall. Just to start out, I may have to adjust later. So what I'm going to do is just put a couple of small just little three-quarter inch wood screws in here just to hold it in place. And then I can check and see where we're, where we're at after that. Alright, this is my bottom plate. Um, basically all I'm going to do is uh, take, a, take the little two-inch uh, piece of all thread there, put that on there. You got three... Put them up there where you can see them. There's a uh, three washers, two flat and one's a needle bearing. So I'm going to put a flat washer on here, then the needle bearing, then another flat washer. And I'm going to set this base. I'm, I'm going to orient this one this way. You can also set it uh, this way. You can make the base so the, the pin's on the other side if you want, however you want to set your base. I like to set it this way here. And it's going to set something like that. There's uh, two things I can do if I have too much space be in my door. I can either bring the door up, just using some of these uh, half-inch flat washers that you can get at any hardware store. Uh, just put those on there to, to bring the door hug up. Or you can um, shim the uh, top of the, the jam down. So usually I like to shim the jam down uh, so everything's sitting uh, closer to the ground. So we'll get our door and see if it fits. So on the door, the bottom and the top are, are exactly the same. They've got uh, this plate here with a bushing in it that's uh, going to receive our half inch steel pin. So we're going to see if this thing fits here. I'm going to set the bottom of the door on the base onto that pin that I just showed you. And then we'll drop a three inch pin down through that bracket that's hanging there into the top of the door. toughest part is just finding the hole. Alright, that's not bad. I'm going to have to bring the uh, jam in a little bit, check for plumb and all that, but I think we're pretty darn close. All right, I've got the door situated just about where I want it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run in one of these screws here just to kind of hold things in place. Uh, I like these fine thread screws. Uh, they don't grab the carpet as well, uh, or as much, I should say. Uh, especially on Berber, if you're uh, doing a, a door that's in a basement and you have to drill through the uh, Berber carpet to the concrete, you got to actually cut out a square of carpet because uh, that drill bit will grab that Berber thread and, and run with it. So uh, you got to be real careful on Berber. With this plush, uh, it's, it's not bad at all. So I'm going to just put one in for now and then uh, 
just keep checking things and type things down as I go. All right, this door is coming out very nice. I just had to shim a little bit there on the left side. Uh, <clears throat> I added some washers on the bottom just to bring it up. Uh, this piece of trim that just has to be within three quarter because that's going to be my uh, my door stop. So we're looking good there. I, I added some half inch washers to the bottom as opposed to, to uh, shimming it down because at the bottom I'm going to add a floor sweep. So here's where the miss is. Just barely clearing as we close the door. Uh, we'll give yourself an eighth of an inch or so. Don't make it too tight uh, or you'll be in trouble. And then uh, at the bottom, like I said, I'm going to add a floor sweep. So uh, now what I'm going to do is take some three inch screws, uh, these longer ones, because I know I've got my top plate where I want it, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, lag that in permanent. side of the door we're going to start putting in our uh, door stop. This is uh, three quarter inches thick. I made it an inch wide and I made a mark an inch and a half in. So I'm going to just get that first one started here. And that's the only measurement I'm going to take. The rest of it I'm going to just fit to the door as, uh, as I pull it up. And I'll just work my way all around the door within this, uh, within this stop. On the pivot side, I find it's necessary just to leave a little smidge. And if you have it too tight here, it'll, it's going to hit as it closes. So you're going to have to give yourself just a, a sixteenth of an inch or so. So as it closes in, that, that leading corner can can miss. Let's get it right there. Alright, so it is done. It's cased out now. Adjustable shelves are in. All touched up. Um, underneath this shelf there is a deadbolt. It slides through. I'll show you how that works. <clears throat> you can see it goes through the side of the bookcase and into the jam and you can lock it up if so desired and then at the top I also put a little magnetic catch so it just holds it into position so there's the back of the door the base plate if it ever comes into focus there we go and you have your secret door.